Hey, it's Warren Eckstein. I want to talk to you about cats today. You know, cats are really misunderstood by so many different people. You know, cats can't be trained. Cats can't do this. I always joke with people that cats are so, so smart. They convince people that they can't be trained just so we get off their backs and leave them alone a little bit. But there are some behaviors that a lot of people misunderstand when it comes to cats. So I want to go over just a couple right now. We'll do more in the future. Let's talk about purring. You know, I get this all the time. Why do cats purr? Uh, there probably are thousands of reasons why cats purr that we don't understand, but some of them I've written down, so let me share them with you. A cat's purr is recognized as a sign of contentment, but not always. Cats actually purr for many different reasons. As I said, for example, cats sometimes purr to calm themselves down when they're sick, stressed out, or injured. It seems that when a cat purrs, it releases the endorphins, and the endorphins are those, those feel-good uh, feel hormones in our body that reduce pain. And they even say, some people even say that the vibrations from purring can actually help with some of the healing if the cat is really having a, a physical problem. So that's one of the reasons why cats purr. Some people say it's, it's the way of the mom letting the cats know she's ready to feed, and the kittens purr when they want to eat. So there's so many different ways. So just accept it. Cats purr for many different reasons. What I do... I have no cats at the moment, but I've had as many as 30 at a time. What I do is I really spend a lot of time studying my cats and figuring out when this one's purring, what's going on? Or when this one is sleeping on its back, what's going on? So one of the best things you can do to really understand your cat's behavior, and it goes for all pets, is to, to watch them carefully. I videotape them and study them, but that's, that's me. What about shattering? I get this all the time. Warren, why is my cat shattering? He looks out the window and he's chattering his birds outside. Chattering, and, and I just wrote this down as well, chattering is a, a sound that cats commonly make when watching a bird through the window. That makes sense. Cats chatter actually to mimic the chirps and chatters that birds wake. They figure that would be a better way to, to catch them. Some people believe that chattering indicates the frustration of not being able to hunt and just watching the birds. I don't know. I have mixed emotions. I've seen cats chattering, and it, sometimes it does look like frustration. They want to be outside, but we know I'm a firm believer in keeping your cats in the house unless you've taken the time to teach them to walk on a lead in a harness or you've actually had a, a special cat enclosure, escape-proof cat enclosure built outside. So I believe that chattering has many different things. It could be frustration, but they do chatter in the wild. So I think it's also a way of, of, of kind of enticing or, or actually mimicking the birds so they kind of blend. Remember we talked about dogs and why they roll around and stuff because they want to blend in with the environment? Well, the chattering on the cat's part may indicate the same thing. Now, what about belly up? How many times have you been around your cat and they show you their belly? They're kind of on their back like that. A cat is at the most vulnerable position when they're on their back, just like dogs. So when a cat is comfortable enough to be with their guardians and, and, and roll on their back and, and let you rub their back, flop over, that's an indication of how much your felines really trust you, and you should be proud of that. So when a cat comes over and, and exposes their belly and wants a little belly rub, sometimes it could be submissive behavior. Sometimes it could be a very fearful cat that's just totally submissive. And sometimes, and I think in most of the time, when you have the, the type of pet guardians like you guys are that love and kiss and hug and schmooze, um, the cat's rolling on its back to indicate that it's totally comfortable with you. However, Watch them carefully again because so many of you guys are amazing and adopt cats and, and have taken cats off the street and feral cats and give them time to adapt. So if they expose their belly right away, you know, maybe back away just a little bit because I don't want them to think that they're, they're always going to be that vulnerable when they're around you. And one more thing. I believe that all living things hug. I, yeah, I know people think I'm eccentric. I know. Imagine that. I believe all animals hug. And so if you're lying around or you're sitting on the couch and your cat wants to snuggle up with you, and he does snuggle up with you, but all of a sudden he takes his tail and wraps it around you, my interpretation of that, this is Warren's interpretation, I've worked with many, I interpret the cat wrapping the tail around you as a, as a, as a cat hug. So the question comes up. Are you being hugged by a cat? Of course you are. So cats are so misunderstood. Please take the time to understand. They're amazing, amazing animals. So smart, so intelligent, but very often misunderstood because people just say, it's a cat. That's what cats do. No, cats are living in our environment. So it's important to make our environment happy. It's important to make our environment healthy and, and mentally stimulating for everything that lives there. And that includes your felines as well. I'm Warren X and I talk to you on the Pet Show.